the year 2009. The visionaries, Dr. Nicolette Bethel and Philip Burroughs. The vision, to create a theater festival to expose local audiences and attract international visitors to a wide range of world-class theater from around the world. A theater festival designed to provide the opportunity for local actors, playwrights, and directors to refine their craft. From, for us, it started in, when I was teaching uh, theater arts at Lester B. Pearson College in Canada. Um, Nico was there already. She had been teaching English and then she moved into teaching anthropology. And the, perf the, the president of the school came to me and said, there's this festival I think you should take your students to. I had introduced the IB Theater Arts Program at Pearson. And he says, I think you should take these students to the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. And I thought, Oregon and Shakespeare? That just didn't click with me. You know, I think of Shakespeare, I think of New York, London, whatever. I don't think of Oregon. So um, I read up a little bit about it. And then I uh, took, four, four, my, I had 14 students. And seven went in one van and seven went in the next van. Nico drove the other van and we went to this festival. It blew these people away. It was an incredible thing. I mean, the students were, some of the students were reluctant to go and they came up to me at intermission and they was like, thank you so much for bringing us. And so we were there and both Nico and I realized that this town, this town of Ashland, Oregon, which was, I would say from Elizabeth Avenue to the British Colonial, that's the whole length of the town. They do this festival from no February to November. That's what, runs the whole town. The whole town runs off this festival. And it's brilliant. And it, it, it was a, it's called um, the Oregon Shakespeare Festival, but it had Shakespeare, but it also had other works, original works and all these sorts of things. And we would constantly have these conversations because we'd walk from where we would stay in Siskiyou Center and we'd walk to the theater. And they had three theaters, a sort of a, a proscenium theater, a, a, what, what is considered like a black box and then they had this Elizabethan outdoor partially outdoor theater where they did some of the Shakespeare's and we were like you know if this could run this town we could probably we could definitely do something like this in Nassau and so we came home and um, we first started by doing our first ring play production which was Macbeth at College of the Bahamas back then and then um, I think the, the, the thing that really pushed it over the edge was we had prepared everybody. We were ready to go to Carafesta. We had been to Trinidad. We were ready to go to Carafesta. We were ready to host Carafesta. And the powers that be at that particular day said, we're not going. So we're like, well, you know, we can't go to that festival. We can create our own festival. And that's sort of how it kind of came about. Nico was director of culture at the time. And she was in her office and she said, you know, we're, we're, we're going to start up this festival. I'm trying to think of a name for it. And Patricia Bazard said, why don't you call it Shakespeare in Paradise? And that's where the name came from, from Patricia Bazard. Uh, Nico and I were 100% in. Reds was kind of fully in. Everybody else was like, okay, we'll see how this goes. And um, midway through, I remember us having a, this huge press thing at, at um, Greycliff because that's where we had our opening sort of reception. And everybody was like, yeah, okay. And you know, and everybody was on board and everybody's been on board ever since. And 10 years later, here we are. Normally we have two signature productions. Normally we have the Shakespeare and something Caribbean, Bahamian, musical that people could relate to. Um, which sounds like I'm saying people can't relate to Shakespeare, but normally we have two things at two ends of a spectrum. Um, but this year we also added a third um, signature production, which is Short Tales, which is a series of 10 original plays, short plays, written by 10 local authors and directed by eight local directors. And the whole idea behind it is that we need to build theater. We have to be able to build people who can carry on the Bahamian tradition of theater, which is a great tradition. We are one of the theater powerhouses um, in the Caribbean, even though things have become a little dormant. The real thing. I mean, uh, this is a task that, you know, the fact that we're producing a CD, um, the fact that we're taking a Bahamian artist and we're, we're doing something unique. 
You know, it's a difficult festival. It, we calculate that it cost us probably $60 a head to run this. We charge $30 a head and we charge students $10 a head. So everything else has to be raised. And we spend a lot of time begging. I mean, we really go out and we, 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 we ask and we push and we, specifically for the students to come out. We, you know, we've had over 25,000 students attend this festival. We've had student, we've had uh, student artists who have drawn the t-shirts and stuff for the festival. And so we have a very heavy focus on that because that's your future audience and that's how you build and that's what you do. And so that's been important to us from the very first year. And that has actually grown. I think we started the first year with three matinees. We are, in this year, we're doing 10. And I think last year we might have even done 10 as well. So, you know, we, we, you know, between the two spaces that we have now, that has also helped the situation. Now there are a whole lot of fabulous actors out there. But what I feel is missing from the theatrical scene is a whole lot of different kinds of works. There's a trend to write the same thing again and again. And writers and directors are generally the same person. Like I write my play and then I direct my play. But there's a limitation to that. If you direct your play, you're gonna just continue to reinforce the vision that you had and you know, you're not making the most of theater as a collaborative medium. So we wanted to get new directors, new writers, and new actors in short tales. And the one thing is that, I mean, there's not necessarily an overlap, but if you want to be a director and a writer, you cannot direct your own play. You've got to direct somebody else's. You've got to bring a different vision to life, and you have to give it your own spin. I think we did a pretty good job with that. There's a great educational outreach, and um, you know, people need to see themselves on stage and see what you know, experience their own life and, and what goes on. And so that that's a part and, and an important part of what we do. So not only are we um, not only are we producing the plays, we are publishing the plays. So if you get your play selected to be in Short Tales, we will publish it in a book that we want to sell, we want to distribute to the schools if possible, we want to just put out there. We'll send it around the Caribbean if necessary. Um, we just want to jumpstart a whole new generation of local Bahamian playwrights and directors. Natural Bright Soap Collection for a brighter, clearer, smoother complexion. Vitamin A and E enriched Natural Bright cleanses, exfoliates, and moisturizes for a soft, glowing, even skin tone. Natural Bright Whitening Lemon and Papaya Exfoliating Soaps for a brighter, clearer, smoother complexion that brings out the natural you. Also available in cream and gel. Natural Bright Soap Collection, distributed by ESC Distributors. Telephone 394-0819. At Games and Things, Games and More, and Sell All, we carry a huge selection of electronics and appliances. Laptops starting at $325, smart television starting at $220, cell phones starting at $2688, smartphones starting at $85, Tablets starting at $75, we also have gaming consoles, video games, and small appliances. We are your Hurricane Supplies Headquarters, and we carry battery-operated fans, inverters, generators, flashlights, and so much more. Beat the heat this summer with our family-sized pools and equipment. If you're thinking about starting your own business, we have popcorn, hot dog, ice cream, snow cone, and cotton candy machines, and so, so much more. If you're worried about VAT increase starting July 1st, we will have 32-inch flat screen TV starting as low as 220 just for you. It can't get any better than this. So come on in and check us out. Games and Things, Marathon Road, telephone number 394-4705, Games and More, Southwest Plaza, 361-7265, Sell All Electronics and Appliances, Marshalls Plaza, Carmichael Road, 361-7267. Yeah, you see them speeding there yeah. in and out of traffic. You see them speeding there yeah. 
Well, I got involved with Shakespeare in Paradise. I think when we did Music of the Bahamas, the first production we did, I got involved primarily because I came back from university and had not had really any cultural musical experience. I came back as a classically trained musician. And uh, Joanne Callender gave me an opportunity to work on her 40th anniversary concert, so I got involved with the Bohemian genre in a classical sense then. Philip Burroughs invited me to come and do Music of the Bahamas. I had seen it in its original production, but I had not worked on it. And here was another work of Clement Bethel. Now, Clement Bethel is my hero in music and has always been. I was a singer of his in the Renaissance Singers at age 16. So I have adored Clement. I have sat at his feet. I have learned every nuance of his moves from him. So an opportunity to do his work, this was his master's thesis brought on the stage, and I was very happy to be involved in that. And then after that, I got involved in Sammy Swain, another epic production of Clement and Cleophas. And after that, we did uh, once on this island. So here I am now with another production. So I'm like the resident musical person for Shakespeare in Paradise, which I am very happy for, I want to say. Yeah, because I would not normally have done it. And so I'm happy to be involved. Every year there's something new going on with Shakespeare in Paradise on the musical level. And so it's my pleasure to be involved with it once again here with this particular production. Eventually, Philip said, well, Fred Ferguson is rearranging these 25 songs. Um, do you know them? Well, I grew up in 80 minutes, so I know all of this music. And I said, this is really interesting. I want to be a part of the process. And then he said, well, you know, we're looking at the music, and I think we need someone to help the choir to learn the music because, you know, I can hear the harmonies, you can hear them, but perhaps they don't know how to, to get the harmonies. So I inboxed Fred on Facebook, and I said, okay, bro, I'm helping out with this. And he said, oh, yeah, I know. Can you send me the score? And he said, what score? There ain't no blank score. <laughs> I was like, how could there not be a score for a musical? He said, well, it's in my mind. I'm sitting at my computer. I'll send you the tracks. And you, since you're so brilliant, you score it. <laughs> I was like, uh -huh. For the most part, any minister's music is in one key, well, maybe two or three keys, but he has a limited range as a singer. But then you have to create ranges for other people to sing. So you have to create parts. So that's my role in this situation is creating new parts to the songs so that each person on the stage has a part to sing. So that's how I got involved now. But then, of, then, of, then having done that, then to teach it to the choir and to teach it from original written score. Nothing computerized, just in my sort of hand. We sort of sat in this very same room and I played it and it's okay. You gonna have to remember your part. There's no score to carry home. I'm playing it. You remember it. We come back for a week and we did it every night religiously every song so that they would remember it and as we went along we've been teaching it and reminding them of the parts of the song so that when they get on the stage it does make musical sense and it is true to the originality of the piece that Eddie Minnis wrote. As an English language and literature teacher uh, we are required to teach and study Shakespeare with our students to pass the national examination um, but it goes a little deeper for me than that because once you study Shakespeare and you delve into his works, it opens your mind to a new level of thinking. And for students to do that, it moves them beyond surface understanding of the text. Because now you have to synthesize, really evaluate, deconstruct the language, look at the plot, the themes. And that's what we really want to facilitate, critical engagement so that we can have nation builders. So this is exactly why we have to continue studying it. But if you only study it, you do a disservice to yourself. Shakespeare wrote his plays to be performed. So you have to see them on stage because as a director, once I see the actors get on stage and they're performing, I learn something new every single performance. So you can imagine what that does for students who are reading it and then get to see it perform. And not just that, anyone who sits in the audience, they have to really think when they're sitting and listening to Shakespeare because it's not the easiest thing to understand but it's not impossible. When Shakespeare wrote his works, um, he did for his contemporaries of the time discussing hot button issues. And if there's anything we know, history repeats itself. And so at any given moment, what we're experiencing has already happened before. So when he explores these themes like love, war, hate, politics, loss, betrayal, uh, it's relevant to us and so 
I don't see any other reason why we should not continue to have Shakespeare productions here in the Bahamas. Shakespeare in Paradise has done world-class productions. Every time they come out the boat, it is world-class. And Bahamians are seeing it for cheap. You can't see a production like this for $30 nowhere in the world. You better run to the Dundas quick and see it because you ain't gonna see it like that anywhere else that is well produced, that is well thought out, that is well acted, that is well sung. And we have that here in abundance in this little country we call the Bahamas. If you want to be a director and a writer, you cannot direct your own play. You've got to direct somebody else's. You've got to bring a different vision to life and you have to give it your own spin. I think we did a pretty good job with that. After 10 creatively successful and culturally impactful years, Shakespeare in Paradise is still going and still requiring the support of any and everyone who cares about the future of the dramatic arts. games and things games and more and sell all we carry a huge selection of electronics and appliances laptops starting at 325 smart television starting at 220 cell phones starting at 2688 smartphones starting at 85 dollars tablets starting at 75 dollars we also have gaming consoles video games and small appliances we are your hurricane supplies headquarters and we carry battery operated fans inverters 
generators, flashlights, and so much more. Beat the heat this summer with our family size pools and equipment. If you're thinking about starting your own business, we have popcorn, hot dog, ice cream, snow cone, and cotton candy machines, and so, so much more. If you're worried about VAT increase starting July 1st, we will have 32 inch flat screen TV starting as low as 220 just for you. It can't get any better than this. So come on in and check us out. Games and Things, Marathon Road, telephone number 394-4705. Games and more, Southwest Plaza 361-7265. Sell all electronics and appliances, Marshalls Plaza, Carmichael Road 361-7267. Natural Bright Soap Collection for a brighter, clearer, smoother complexion. Vitamin A and E enriched natural bright cleanses, exfoliates, and moisturizes for a soft, glowing, even skin tone. Natural bright whitening, lemon and papaya exfoliating soaps for a brighter, clearer, smoother complexion that brings out the natural you. Also available in cream and gel. Natural Bright Soap Collection, distributed by ESC Distributors. Telephone 394-0819. Freedom! Freedom! Hello, I'm Pops McKay. Welcome to Freedom Watch. I'm a JP in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. I'm a member of the Nassau Holy Baptist Church. My spiritual counselor is Calvin. Calvin, welcome to Freedom Watch. Thank you, Pops. Always great to be on Freedom Watch. <laughs> spiritual counselor, read text, read text, man. Yeah, Pops, I don't think you're gonna like this text. This text says, you guys are copying from another show. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Their show is called Freedom March. Our show is called Freedom Watch. Here's the woman them sugar. I am mama them sugar daddy. He says, buy grab. I say, buy grits. He says, this is powerful. I say, this is Donald Mike. I don't see any resemblance, do you? Boy, Pops, you are something else. <laughs> Yo, producer, what up, doing two Negroes celebrating the birthday today. That's Anton celebrating the birthday, and Barbara, the two Negroes celebrating the birthday. First, we have Anton. Anton is celebrating the birthday today. Anton, we wish you a happy birthday. Next, we have Barbara. Barbara, celebrating the birthday today. Barbara, I yearn to see you. <laughs> I yearn to see you. That's the two Negroes celebrating the birthday today. That's all, folks. See you next time on Freedom Watch. Freedom! 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 Freedom. This book here has like 250 drink recipes. It took over 25 years of research and, and development to bring to the public. Uh, I want to take credit for this. It's really, believe it or not, it's my late father. My late father, Herbert Mambo Burroughs who, you know, he was born in Inagua, came to the Bahamas, uh, came to Nassau, Bahamas, and you know, he started, he went to the old world school, and after, uh, during those times, at least you can remember, that was in the late 40s, early 50s, when he came out of school at 14, and then uh, he started his career at the British Colonial Hotel, but believe it or not, where we're standing right now, the Monocue, really, that's where it all began, because it was in the 50s that, he started to work in the Monte Hotel and believe it or not, his career just took off from there. And by uh, dealing with all the tourists, you know, over the years, I think they liked his drinks. He was a bartender and believe it or not, he did uh, the, the, the name Mambo. How he got that name, believe it or not, it was a talent show. And he took a 14 course tray and he did a dance called the Mambo. And the name stuck from there. So he's a bar waiter and a bartender. And believe it or not, and uh, I guess he looked at it over the years, uh, inspiring doing his drink because uh, he have 250 drinks, which took over 25 years uh, research and testing to bring to the public. And I think what he did, he uh, he recognized that, that the tourists a lot of time when they came come to the Bahamas, they'll get the drinks and then they don't know the put in it when they go back home. So he said, you know something? If I could do this, put this on paper, and then. They could, they could have a book and do it at home. Imagine right now in New York, 40, believe, 40, uh, 40 degrees. Uh, Canada, five degrees below zero. And believe it or not, then you could go to your, go, go in the kitchen, get your, get, your, your, get your mixer, and then you could do your Bahama Mama, you could do your Bahama Papa, Bahamian Delight. 
Mr. Burroughs, he was able to have a lot of original drinks. Like say, for example, right now where we're standing, you have a drink here called Monaco Bay. I don't think a lot of people here even like say, believe it or not, this should really be in all the restaurants in the Bahamas. And then here it is, you have a lot of drinks named after famous places, things, historic sites, uh, some, uh, some American international because during those times, believe it or not, this uh, historic site uh, on Fort Monaco, which was built in 1741, built out of limestone. This fort was built to protect protect the British from the Spanish invaders. This site here, believe it or not, a lot of people take it for granted, but it's got plenty of history. One of our most feared pirates during the time before, after, uh, even the British Congress. You know, we had been called like Black Bear, uh, Edward Teach. He was so scary, believe it or not. They said, and he used to go and fog this eastern shore right here. When they had, uh, when they had all the Spanish ship, all them cruise ship coming through, say Black Bear would jump on. And say he was a monster, people would just give up. And believe it or not, out on the eastern shore, which is a little further east, we had a thing sometime when Black Bear and them again run. They were actually running the sea. And everyone thought this man used to disappear. They said, man, he, he must see a ghost or a god. All it was was what Black Bear them would do, they were smart. They had a tunnel. So every time a, a Bahamas being a shallow, have uh, shallow waters, they was able to run ashore, run under the tunnel, and then they'll end up in Fox Hill. Natural Bright Soap Collection for a brighter, clearer, smoother complexion. Vitamin A and E enriched Natural Bright cleanses, exfoliates, and moisturizes for a soft, glowing, even skin tone. Natural Bright Whitening Lemon and Papaya Exfoliating Soaps for a brighter, clearer, smoother complexion that brings out the natural you. Also available in cream and gel. Natural Bright Soap Collection, distributed by ESC Distributors. Telephone 394-0819. At Games and Things, Games and More, and Sell All, we carry a huge selection of electronics and appliances. Laptops starting at $325, smart television starting at $220, cell phones starting at $2688, smartphones starting at $85, Tablets starting at $75, we also have gaming consoles, video games, and small appliances. We are your Hurricane Supplies Headquarters, and we carry battery-operated fans, inverters, generators, flashlights, and so much more. Beat the heat this summer with our family-sized pools and equipment. If you're thinking about starting your own business, we have popcorn, hot dog, ice cream, snow cone, and cotton candy machines, and so, so much more. If you're worried about VAT increase starting July 1st, we will have 32-inch flat-screen TV starting as low as 220 just for you. It can't get any better than this. So come on in and check us out. Games and Things, Marathon Road, telephone number 394-4705, Games and More, Southwest Plaza, 361-7265, Sell All Electronics and Appliances, Marshalls Plaza, Carmichael Road, 361-7267. Yeah, we didn't cool enough. Yeah, yeah, man. Clean though. This some nice shoes, man. Yeah, man. Boy, you clean though. Yeah, man. I like these shoes, you know. I get it from David Jones, boy. David Jones, eh? Yeah, man. The hot too. Yeah, the whole outfit, boy. Boy, I gotta get me one, you know. Man, go down the corner right there. Uh huh. Yeah, man. That's a new clothing store. Yes, yeah, boy, in the corner there. All right, all right. Hey, who this dude is, man? Hey, who you is, man? David Jones, man. David Jones. Yeah, David Jones. Keep like going close, man. <laughs> Can't be on the feet. Yeah, I'll just...